Hey everyone, I'm here with five-star 2024 UConn women's basketball commit, Ali Zabel. Ali, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for coming on to talk to me. Uh, how are you feeling like the season is going right now? I know you're getting close to playoffs, so uh, how are you feeling? Really good so far. Um, our team has come a long way. Only have one loss so far, so it's really good. Absolutely. And uh, how much was last year being so close to making it to state? Uh, how much of that was a motivator uh, for coming out and just being so strong this season? Yeah, it was huge. Um, we don't want that feeling again. We fell a little short last year and thought we could have went further. Um, so this year, just using that as motivation to push us further. And, you know, obviously you have a lot of accolades. People know that you're one of the best in the nation. Uh, how do you kind of take that and use it as leadership and use your talent as a way to lead the team uh, and be someone that the rest of your teammates can look to? Yeah, I would say I'm not always uh, or was not always the most vocal. Um, so using that year and be more vocal, just setting, like leading by example. Um, and then using my experiences now being an, uh, like an upperclassman from being that underclassman with a bunch of seniors, um, just taking that, using that experience um, just to help guide them and use my experiences to follow that. Yeah, I know that uh, being a, a good player, especially on uh, as an underclassman on a varsity team, can always be tough. How did you, and you said yourself, uh, you've been working on being more vocal. Uh, how have you kind of handled uh, being a freshman and an underclassman on a varsity team and being one of the better players on that varsity team? Uh, my seniors, my freshman year, made it really, really easy, honestly, for me. Um, they were great people, and they really understood everyone's role, so they were great examples. Absolutely, and, you know, Obviously, you're probably going to have a target on your back because everybody knows that they got to focus on you. How do you approach games knowing that? And, and what do you try to do uh, to make sure that doesn't affect you? Yeah, I would say just do what I do, really. Um, stay calm, collected, and then use my teammates. If they're open, you give them the ball, but you do what you need to do and just read the defense. And you committed to UConn. Uh, Obviously, congratulations. And was there any other uh, programs that were right there in the hunt towards the end? Or was it kind of just as soon as UConn reached out, it was UConn all the way? Um, for my recruiting process, I would say I got it down to probably about six um, just to make it easier to handle like phone calls and manage all that um, with school. But um, so I took a couple more visits, but I really knew like that was my dream school and I really wanted to go there. Absolutely. Was there a specific moment? You said it was your dream school, but was there like a specific moment where either you had a conversation or you were at on campus? Did you just have that moment where it was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going here? Yeah, my campus visit um, when we were there, I was like, yeah, this is the place for me. It was everything I expected it to be, really, um, but just wanted to make sure of that. Absolutely. And how nice has it been uh, having a fellow recruit and someone who's going to be there a year before you, KK Arnold, you know, just down the highway like a, an hour or so? Uh, have you guys talked a lot since the commitment and during the recruitment? Yeah, we have talked. And I think it's super cool just having someone that w will be going through the same experience as you coming from the same area. Um, so if there's any ever like advice I would get from her. Absolutely. And you said that was your dream school. Uh, how long has UConn been that for you? I mean, have you just been a fan of them for forever? Yeah, um, probably since I started watching basketball, they were the school that I wanted to go to, um, probably just because they were always the ones winning. So you always saw that. And then I just followed them throughout the years. And then I ended up really liking everything about them. Did you have a favorite player? Somebody you tried to pay attention to even more so than everybody else? Um, I really liked Diana Tarazi Subird, um, watching them even in the WNBA, I would say. But um, like I loved Katie Lou Samuelson, um, loved watching Mariah Jefferson and all them. So it was cool. Definitely. And uh, was it always basketball for you or how did you kind of fall in love with it? My dad was a boys basketball coach. So all my summers I would spend in the gym with him. So, yeah. yeah. And was there a moment that it went from – being something that you just played with your dad and, and it was a fun thing to do to, I'm actually pretty good at this and, and I have a future possibly if I just stick at this. Um, I would say probably like seventh grade, I got really serious about it. I was like, this is what I want to do. Um, so then I ended up like playing AAU and doing all that stuff. But yeah, that's probably when I put the most work in was like start of middle school. And what was it like to get that first offer and receive that validation, uh, not from, you know, a friend or a teammate or yourself, but from a, a college program being like, we want you, you're good enough to play D1. Yeah, it was a really cool like moment, just a little emotional because um, you, like, you work so hard for it and then you realize like, oh, this could really happen. So it was really cool. Definitely. And 
you know, for you uh, with the growth in the sport and obviously you being so talented, have you noticed that there are people coming to watch you and, and they're trying to be, you know, the next alley and, and you're that sort of a person to the younger uh, girls and boys in your community? Yeah, I have little girls come up to me all the time, um, just like talking, asking questions, which I love. It's so like fun just to be that role model for them. So I love it. You know, for you, what are your goals uh, heading into the final two years of your high school career? And then what are you most looking forward to uh, becoming a UConn Husky? Um, for high school, winning a state championship is the ultimate goal. Um, we really want to, we feel like we have the team to do that this year, um, but just progressively getting better, working harder, and then working on being more of that vocal leader, getting better, but still could obviously improve. Um, and then going to Connecticut, I would say um, just being around like-minded people and being around such hard workers. I just want to be the best I can be and develop as much as I can there. Absolutely. And talking about that development and working on yourself, uh, what is that part of your game that you know is just like a cornerstone that you're very proud of? Uh, no matter what, you know, you can rely on that. And then what's something that you're trying to improve? I would say creating for teammates. Um, that's something I really pride myself in. Like I can shoot, but I really enjoy being able to get my teammates open shots and get them involved. That's just so much fun. Makes me happy just to see them succeed. Um, it makes the game more fun, builds a better team chemistry, I would say. Um, and then most improvement, I would say probably defense um, and then talking. It's kind of unbelievable that there are two, you know, UConn women's basketball commits in the same state, you know, in the same area, basically. Uh, what does that say about just the growth of the game of basketball and the talent level that's here in Wisconsin? Uh, how proud are you to be able to do that and, and represent, you know, the state on such a high level? Yeah, I think it's a super cool thing just to see all the level of talent that Wisconsin has produced. Um, it's a great state for basketball. There's a lot of talent here and every team is great. Like we have a lot of good teams here. Yeah, we definitely do. And it's been fun to watch all of them. And Allie, before we wrap this up, I just want to ask, do you feel like I left anything out or is there anything you'd like to add to what we talked about? Uh, I don't think so. I think you hit everything. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our other videos and don't forget to smack that subscribe button down below while you're at it. Also, for more great and original content, head right over to bbmsports.com.